Hey, what's up, nerds? Hello, everybody! Hello, everyone. This is Jason Wooding, the Relic Gamer. And today I wanted to talk to you guys all about Evil Knievel. So he changed it to Evil spelled E V E L. There are other stories about how he came up with the name. One suggests that the police gave Knievel that name after one of his many times in custody. He was in trouble with the law a few times. And television will be going for fucking family! In October 1977, Knievel pled guilty to battery and received six months in jail after attacking his former press agent over a book that he felt mischaracterized him. Knievel beat the victim with an aluminum baseball bat, breaking his arm and wrist. The criminal behavior was devastating financially for Knievel. He lost a number of deals, including those with Harley Davidson and Ideal Toys. In 1981, Knievel would declare bankruptcy. Eventually, he was able to secure several endorsements again and made a bit of a comeback financially. In 1986, he was fined $200 in Missouri after being charged with soliciting an undercover policewoman for immoral purposes. Knievel separated from his wife in the early 1990s. In 1995, he was charged with battery after allegedly attacking his girlfriend, Crystal Kennedy. She declined to press charges. The intelligence Miko is for men that have families. That's... Charges. Thankfully, last weekend, I was able to go to Texas with my son and try out that game. Get excited, some of them probably wanted to see when he would crash. Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville. Hi, my name is Stephen Hawking. Welcome to Jackass. Hello everyone, this is Jason Wooding, the Relic Gamer. Well, it didn't take long. On June 19, in Missoula, Montana, he attempted to jump over 12 cars in a van, but he was not able to get the motorcycle up to a high enough speed. He broke his arm and several ribs. This particular crash caused his popularity to skyrocket. Hey, what's up, nerds? As far as his personality, Knievel had a high level of openness to experience. He was creative, appeared to experience emotions intensely, and was adventurous. He was low in conscientiousness, impulsive, irresponsible, and not cautious, although he had a phenomenal work ethic. He had high extroversion. He was outgoing, assertive, and sensation-seeking. It would be hard to imagine how anyone could have a higher level of sensation-seeking than Evil Knievel. He had mid-range agreeableness, he valued competition over cooperation, and would not likely be characterized as modest. Knievel believed in keeping his word. He made a few jumps where he knew it was unlikely that he would succeed, but he did it because he said he would. I can tell you I have more fun with the meme, one meme that is free to make. I will laugh, I will have fun with one meme, a good meme, right? A good one. Then millions of dollars into video games and even billions that I would not even play for free. You know? Just I appreciate that. Thank you for not giving me such a hard time on all of this. Oh, I really need an easy interview. <laughs> A truthful person would actually welcome criticism because it will bring out all the naysayer claims and be able to resolve those claims and not have the whole audience be thinking, oh, what about this? What about that? Which would bring more people to understand him, therefore causing more people to come on board with what he's saying. Naysayer claims aren't necessarily to tear someone down because they have some you know, political ideology that they aren't in line with. Someone like me. I don't really care if this guy. I'm Froggy the Ferret! And today. And television will be going for fucking family!